Today we will exploring the 10 most famous paintings in the London National Gallery, their mysteries and the things who captivated art enthusiasts from all around the world. Without further ado let's begin. Painted by the Italian Baroque artist Caravaggio in 1601, the Supper at Emmaus depicts a pivotal moment from the Gospel of Luke where the resurrected Christ reveals his identity to two disciples. Caravaggio's mastery of chiaroscuro, the interplay of light and shadow, brings a stunning sense of realism and drama to the painting. The illuminated figure of Christ stands out against the dark background, drawing our focus to the divine encounter. His remarkable ability to capture emotions is evident in the expressions of the disciples, ranging from astonishment to reverence, as they recognize their Lord. Caravaggio uses symbolism to enrich the narrative. The broken bread on the table symbolizes Christ's sacrifice, while his outstretched hand points to the Eucharist, reinforcing the spiritual significance of the scene. Michelangelo Merisi da Caravaggio may have hidden an underground Christine symbol and supper at Emmaus in the form of a loose twig sticking out from the woven fruit bowl. The frayed ends curve up and down to form the shape of a stylized fish, or ichthus. The emblem dates back to the second century where it was a covert sign of Christian belief, used by followers who feared they would be persecuted by non-believers. Painted by the Netherland artist Jan van Eyck in 1434, the Arnolfini portrait is a captivating depiction of a wealthy couple, believed to be Giovanni di Nicolao Arnolfini and his wife, in a sumptuous interior setting. Van Eyck's meticulous attention to detail is evident in every element of the painting, from the intricately woven carpet to the reflection in the convex mirror on the wall. Like Alfred Hitchcock, some artists just can't resist a cameo appearance in their work. Van Eyck is believed to be the man with his hand raised in the mirror, and, if that's not enough to make his point, the artist wrote on the wall in Latin, Jan van Eyck was here 1434. This mastery of oil painting and the use of light and shadow created a sense of realism previously unseen in art, making, the Arnolfini portrait, a groundbreaking work of its time. The Virgin of the Rocks painted by Leonardo da Vinci between 1483 and 1486, is an exceptional example of Renaissance art. Set against a rocky landscape, the painting features the Virgin Mary with the Christ child, accompanied by the infant Saint John the Baptist and an angel. Da Vinci's meticulous attention to detail and skillful use of chiaroscuro create an otherworldly atmosphere. The painting's triangular composition draws the viewer's eye to the central figures, emphasizing their spiritual significance. Delving into the symbolism, da Vinci's use of rocks represents the natural world, while the ethereal landscape suggests the divine realm. The angel's gesture, protecting the infant John, alludes to his future role as the baptizer of Christ. Over the centuries, this masterpiece has faced challenges, including damage and restoration attempts. However, it has retained its timeless allure, with da Vinci's mastery shining through. Painted by the Italian Renaissance artist Titians in 1520-1523, Bacchus and Ariadne is a remarkable representation of classical mythology. The painting captures a pivotal moment in the lives of two mythical figures. In this captivating scene, Bacchus, the god of wine, descends from the heavens on a chariot, drawn by leopards. He spots Ariadne, the abandoned princess of Crete, and is instantly enamored by her beauty. Titian's masterful brushwork brings the narrative to life, with vivid expressions of joy, surprise, and infatuation on the faces of the characters. The colors and composition add to the drama of the encounter. The painting symbolizes the transformative power of love and the triumph of sensuality over reason. It's believed to be a celebration of the wedding of Alfonso d'Est, Duke of Ferrara, and Lucrezia Borgia, where Titians aim to impress the guests with his artistic prowess. Painted by Vincent van Gogh in 1888, Sunflowers is an ode to the beauty of nature and a reflection of the artist's passion and struggles. This series of sunflower paintings captures Van Gogh's emotional intensity and unique artistic vision. 
Vincent van Gogh was deeply inspired by the sunflower's luminous beauty and symbolic meaning of adoration and loyalty. Through his art, he aimed to convey the joyous spirit of these golden flowers. Van Gogh's sunflowers not only celebrated nature's splendor but also offered insight into the artist's emotional struggles. He painted these radiant flowers during times of both hope and turmoil, creating a profound connection between his art and inner emotions. Painted by the Italian Renaissance artist Sandro Botticelli in 1483, Venus and Mars is a striking depiction of mythological figures Venus and Mars, encapsulating the essence of love, beauty, and conflict. In this celestial tableau, we witness the slumbering Mars, the powerful god of war, surrounded by weapons discarded during times of peace. Venus, the radiant goddess of love, playfully gazes at Mars, highlighting the juxtaposition of love and war. Botticelli skillfully employs symbolism in every detail. The presence of the playful, mischievous satyrs represents the allure of sensual pleasures, while the fluttering cherubs add a touch of ethereal charm to the scene. Venus and Mars is a testament to Botticelli's mastery and has left an indelible mark on the art world. Its timeless beauty and mythological significance continue to captivate and inspire generations of art enthusiasts. Painted by the legendary artist Rembrandt Harmansoon van Rien in 1640, self-portrait at the age of 34 is a powerful portrayal of the artist's self-reflection and artistic prowess. In this mesmerizing self-portrait, Rembrandt gazes directly at the viewer, delving into the depths of his own soul. His intense eyes and confident expression reveal an artist in the prime of his career. Rembrandt's masterful use of light and shadow, known as chiaroscuro, brings a sense of intimacy and emotional depth to the painting. The intricate details of his attire and unruly hair speak of his artistic individuality. The dark background serves as a poignant contrast to Rembrandt's illuminated visage, symbolizing the artist's ability to illuminate the darkness of the human condition through his art. Painted by Vincent van Gogh in 1889, Wheat Field with Cypresses, is a vivid representation of the artist's unique style and his deep connection to nature. Van Gogh's love for nature is evident in the rich colors and dynamic brushwork of Wheat Field with Cypresses. The towering cypress trees and golden wheat fields come alive with energy and motion. Van Gogh's swirling skies and bold use of color reflect the tumultuous emotions he experienced during his time in an asylum. Through his art, he expressed both his struggles and his appreciation for the beauty of the natural world. The cypress tree, with its upward-reaching branches, is often associated with eternal life and eternity. It serves as a powerful symbol of Van Gogh's longing for spiritual connection and solace. Painted by the visionary artist Claude Monet in 1899, Water Lily Pond is a breathtaking representation of his beloved garden at Giverny, France. Monet's Water Lily Pond series is a testament to his deep reverence for nature. The paintings portray the serene beauty of the water garden, capturing the play of light and reflections on the lily-covered surface. As a leading figure of the Impressionist movement, Monet's Water Lily Pond epitomizes the movement's essence. With vibrant colors, bold brushwork, and a focus on capturing the fleeting moments of nature, Monet revolutionized the art world. Painted by Johannes Vermeer around 1665, Girl with a Pearl Earring, is a timeless portrait that continues to mesmerize art enthusiasts worldwide. This masterpiece showcases Vermeer's mastery in capturing the essence of his subjects. Often referred to as the Mona Lisa of the North, the identity of the girl in the painting remains a mystery, adding to the allure of the artwork. Her captivating gaze and the luminous pearl earring have become symbols of beauty and intrigue. Vermeer's brilliance lies in his ability to transform everyday moments into timeless art. Girl with a Pearl Earring is a prime example of this, as he elevates a simple subject into an extraordinary work of beauty. Vermeer's masterful use of light and shadow gives the painting depth and dimension. 
The pearl earring symbolizes wealth and purity, while her turban adds an exotic touch to the composition. And that wraps up our tour of the 10 most famous paintings in the London National Gallery. I hope you enjoyed this art-filled adventure. Which painting was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.